Algebra 1, number 5.6a, Ascending and Descending Order. When we write polynomials, we can write the terms containing exponents in ascending order from the biggest exponent to the smallest or no exponent. Here's a polynomial in x. So that means it's in descending order according to what x is doing. Here, x is to the third power, x is to the second power, x is to a 1, and here it would be to a 0. We also write the variables alphabetically like a, b, c, x, y, z, p, q, r. We make sure they're in alphabetical order. Now this 4 is a constant, and that constant 4 can be written as 4x to the 0 power. So the degree of this constant is 0. x to the 0 power is equal to 1, so 4 times 1 is 4. That's why this 4 can be written as 4x to the 0 power, see? then we can get its degree, can't we? Now, if you're really confused about this, see the link in this video's description for video 5.1d. It explains it very quickly, and then you won't be lost, okay? We can also write polynomials with their exponents in ascending order, going up from no exponent or least to the greatest, though not usually. We usually do it in descending. So here is the exact same polynomial in x written in ascending order, okay? So you can see it looks like it's backwards. The 4 back here is now in the front. The 2x is now here. The 3x squared y is now the next one. And then this 5x to the third power y is now at the end, see? So it's in ascending order for the polynomial in x. The term with the least exponent for x is written first, and then the next greatest, and so on. So remember that to descend means to go down. Ascend means to go up, all right? You can descend the stairs when you go down the stairs. You can ascend the stairs when you climb up the stairs, all right? Well, sometimes we need to collect combined like terms first and then rewrite it in order. So I've got my green-like terms, and then I've got my orange-like terms. And that poor little three constant is just going to go for the ride, isn't he? Because he doesn't like, he, he has nobody that's like him. So we're just going to add him at the end. So when we combine the 2a squared b to the third power and this negative a squared b to the third power, because they both have a squared b to the third power, they're like terms, we get our friend the, ne the invisible 1, don't we? Because 2 take away this is going to be one of them. And when we combine the two orange ones together, the negative 4a to the third power and the negative 2a to the third power, they both have a to the third power, so they're like terms, and they both have a negative sign, don't they? And remember what we say? Like signs means it's, the sign is going to be like the add-ins. So we've got a negative and a negative, so the answer is going to be a negative. So we've got a negative 6a to the third power, okay? And you should really know this by now. If you don't, I'll have a link to this video too, okay? So both have this a to the third power, and then we bring down our constant 3. We write in descending order for the polynomial in a. We're going to ignore b. Okay, he's just going for the ride. And when we rewrite it for the polynomial in a, the largest one, because it's descending order, is going to be this guy right here, the negative 6a to the third, then the a to the second, and then to the 0. And this could be 3a to the 0 power, couldn't it? Because the a to the 0 power would just be a 1. So polynomials are usually written in descending order, okay? So remember, more for about any 0 exponents like x to the 0 power, look in this video's description for the link, and I'll have a link to the 8th grade math video that talks about like and unlike signs, okay? Might be a couple videos for that. So it's really important that you remember that they're usually written in descending order, and we're going to continue on and talk about evaluating polynomials, okay? I hope this was helpful. I hope you're doing okay, and I'll see you next video. Bye.